Exchange have talked about creating more sustainable IoT a lot. Most of that we've done on t in terms of using energy harvesting. We never really thought about where that energy is being put into, and this is where Ligna Energy comes into thing because they've they've created a sustainable alternative technology in terms of their supercapacitors, which are one non-toxic, so you can throw them away and it's not going to damage the environment. But two really flat so um, if you've got applications like uh, asset tracking where you want to have a smart label this is great hey it's Owen with IP Exchange coming out with you with another little video from Lignet Energy's booth at Embedded Bod 2024 so you may remember I did uh, IP experience about harvesting energy RF energy over the air and uh, Lignet Energy has a cool little um, reference design that they've made that works on RF harvested energy. So, uh, Jan, can you just give us a little overview of these designs that you yeah. you've done? Sure. I mean, this is a, this was a fun project we did with mm. a Dutch agency called Sophisti, and and mm. basically the idea was just to show. Now this is this is connected to your computer, mm. but the idea was to have a phone like a Galaxy phone. It was coming out of the how much you can harvest from a Android, basically, okay, yeah. and just putting. Um, putting the card over it and, and harvesting the super cap uh, inside, seeing how long does it take, how will it work. And then um, now um, we didn't actually make it function as we wanted, but it has an uh, accelerometer inside of it. Oh, so nice. the idea was to, to flip it uh, different angles and get a few different application ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to tr uh, tweak this a bit now mm -hmm. uh, to make it work, but the harvesting works, it's just uh, the yeah. accelerometer that doesn't really function. But the idea is to use a, a phone, harvest uh, the mm -hmm. energy that's coming when you allow the, the phone to, to beam out that radio energy. Nice. And, and then harvest the, into the cap. So in terms of the, um, the actual energy harvesting chip in there, delivering to the Sukhpaska, who did you end up choosing? Uh, in this, uh, uh, we used uh, NXP. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's, um, I don't remember all the components, but when it comes <laughs> to radio uh, yeah. energy harvesting, it's NXP, yeah. Cool. Um, so in terms of a, a practical application, where, where do you think this would be used? So we, we talked with Air Fuel Alliance who make these, um, they call them power bridges, but they basically transmit RF energy so right. you can power multiple sensors around yeah, a room. Yeah. So is that something where you think Ligner Energy is going to be a, a good player in that market? I mean, what we wanted to try here is mm. that we had a few interesting clients who were uh, thinking of adding us into uh, the smart cards that I mentioned oh, yeah, before, yeah. where you can have, for example, a uh, biometric sensor. We want mm. to understand if you put match it with a phone, for example, mm. how well would our cap mm. function and what's the size, uh, the sweet spot, as I mentioned yeah, yeah. before, to get it the capacity right. Um, so this is a, a bit too big. It's based on the, the 1.2 farads okay. that we found. We will probably build one with uh, the lower capacity just to, um, to make the harvesting go a bit faster uh, okay. or filling up the cap. Um, but yeah, the card application is, is interesting. But um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't... We've, looked into the mm. antennas yeah. sending out uh, high amounts of energy uh, and I mean in, in, the, in Europe you have quite a limiting uh, the regulations is, oh, yeah, is yeah, quite yeah. limiting there. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but it is thrilling to think of, of making it work mm. yeah, both for logistics and for yeah, rooms like this or yeah, yeah so I wish there, there's a few American companies or one that, that does this uh, with high amounts of energy but in Europe um, yeah We'll see how that actually works. Cool. Something to look forward to in the future. Are you where my engineers at?